welcome. Uh, another great introduction. Uh, um, uh, when you look at potting, here's a here's a, a couple of terracotta pots that we've had uh, in our greenhouse. The beauty of a terracotta pl uh, pot is it breathes all the way around. And if you look at them also, uh, when you talk about um, the uh, actual, another little trick I'm going to show you. Um, and actually our production person, John Maranzana, pointed out when we were making the preparation. This is a brand new terracotta, but it has for drainage, okay, a hole in the bottom. Uh, and that's, you know, needed for a lot of your plants. But a little trick is you take some of your old chips and put it down at the bottom, not to cover the hole, but to uh, kind of be over it in a curved nature. So the soil, when you plant it in there, doesn't Gaining fall all the way is a water meter. Uh, it's going to give you light. Uh, it's also going to give you uh, water meeting and P uh, meter and pH on this particular one. I use this one in my um, in my vegetable garden, especially with my tomato plant. When they, you know, it gets in the hot summer season, you want to make sure uh, that the soil is very moist. You don't want to uh, water on top of the leaves and plants because they can uh, create a fungus. Uh, some of the pests. Uh, and, then, and again, on the maintenance uh, of your plants, you want to cut uh, cut away dead leaves. Uh, you want to remove weeds. If you can see one of the plants we have here, I'll just show you this plant because it's in a greenhouse. Naturally, it's going to get some weeds, and you want to you want to pick those away uh, because they're going to take moisture away from your uh, from your plant. What I want to talk about is you're seeing some pictures or have seen uh, is uh, this house plant book. Uh, the copyright on this book is the third year, 1963, so it's the 1960s book. It's actually from my wife's family. So you can see that you know house plants go way back. Um, it's not something you know very new. It's uh, it's it's been around for a long time, um, and people have enjoyed that. And then also we have, uh, and I'll get back to Tom. So when Tom took over, uh, one of our uh, uh, older greenhouse uh, gardeners, been with us to be tired, 40 years, and Tom was very nervous about taking over uh, for Andy. And so he gave this. He said, Tom, I want you to have this. He said, this is going to tell you all you need to know about house plants, and you can use it as your guide. Um, and it's got the thumbs up. It tells you how to water, the amount of sunlight, how difficult it is to grow and maintain. Uh, so it's a great, great tool. I had to really pressure Tom in order for him to Pray. let me have that. Okay, um, so I have this bromelade, okay? It's a flowering plant. It comes in a, a variety of reds and yellow hues. The unfortunate thing about this plant, uh, it flowers only once. Um, and that, um, that's the unfortunate side of it. The easiest but, um, uh, to propagate uh, is a hydrangea. Uh, they are very, very easy. I learned this from my grandfather as he used to take the leaf of his, far out leaf of his hydrangea, bring it down and he put soil over it, cover it with soil. And what'll happen is over a period of time, it'll generate its own root and then it will flower and you can cut that out and uh, replant it. So. That's so with all that, I want to thank everybody very much for joining. I hope you learned some things. I appreciate the sharing of, of things because I learned a little bit. I did a lot of research. Um, we're not the ultimate experts, um, but I think we have a great array. And okay, okay, Joe, can we call down and maybe we can have dinner served up here tonight? But with that, I thank you all very much and have a great day and we will see you soon.